Beware. If your home has one of these 15 smells, or even worse, you smell like one of these smells, your cat might think that you don't love them. It sounds weird to us humans, but to your fur baby, smell is the main sense that they use to navigate the world around them. Unfortunately, a lot of the smells that humans find most pleasant are ones that our kitties find downright disgusting, threatening, and even dangerous. And in many cases, they're right to feel that way. So if you want your cat to know you love them, be careful with these 15 common scents. Essential oils. Pretty much all essential oils are toxic to cats when ingested, which is why they should never be applied to a cat's fur directly. Your cat will lick it off, and if they lick off a large enough amount, then they can get essential oil poisoning. This condition can cause a variety of symptoms, including dribbling, shaking, lethargy, difficulty breathing, poor motor control, vomiting, collapse, and seizures. Oils that have been diluted with enough water, however, can be diffused into the air around your cat. Most of the more popular scents, however, will unfortunately smell kinda stinky to a feline nose. Some of the scents with the worst feline reviews include tea tree oil, lavender, which is sometimes used in its plant form to keep cats out of people's backyards, aloe vera, and cinnamon. These are also all fairly poisonous to cats in large amounts, so should probably be avoided in any case. Interlude. Which essential oils are safe for cats? You might have heard a rumor that cats can't ever be safe around essential oils because they contain chemicals called phenols that cats cannot metabolize. But if you're a fan of essential oils, you'll be pleased to know that this is in fact a myth. It's from an old study from the 1970s that was later debunked. Your cat's body will take longer to metabolize the chemicals in essential oils, which is why it's important to dilute them. But they can do it. There are even some cat-safe essential oils out there. Echinacea, licorice root, and valerian root won't smell overly gross to your kitty, and can even have some benefits for you and your cat, such as reducing inflammation and relieving stress. Catnip essential oils also exist, and are needless to say by far the most popular oils with our furry friends. Interestingly, although catnip typically acts as a depressant, or downer, when your cat eats it, when inhaled, it can become more of a stimulant. So you might find your cat gets more chilled out, but also a bit more active than usual. Bananas. These are one of the few bad smelling things that are actually pretty safe for your cat. We're not saying you should be giving them bananas on a daily basis, but it won't kill them. The peel, however, emits a chemical called ethyl acetate which is the same chemical that is found in a lot of harsh cleaning products. The amounts are too small for a human nose to pick up, but are very clear to your cat. Citrus Fruits To you, a bit of lemon spritz might smell fresh and rejuvenating, but the strong smell of citrus fruits can be overwhelming to our cats. Unlike us humans, they didn't evolve to eat fruits, so they have no reason to find the scent pleasant. In fact, they some reason to find them unpleasant. Citrus fruits aren't safe for your kitty, as eating them can give them a nasty stomach upset. Citronella This is a popular natural bug repellent, frequently found in bug repelling candles. Citronella may be good for the environment, but it's unfortunately not very good for your kitty. Exposure can cause stomach upsets, liver damage, and even neurological problems. Other repellents. Some old books might recommend mothballs as an old-fashioned remedy to repel cats, but unfortunately they're actually pretty poisonous to them. The same goes for diethyltoliamide, or DEET, which is commonly found in bug sprays that are applied to the human body. If you spray it on yourself, then you won't be bothered by mosquitoes, but if you hug your cat right afterwards, then it'll get onto their fur and potentially cause tremors, vomiting, drooling, and seizures. What repellents can I use? Surprisingly, catnip is actually a pretty good bug repellent, although you might find it doesn't last long in your house before your cat decides to dig it up or eat it. You can also use more direct solutions to your bug problem, such as flypaper or a bug zapper. Vinegar. Not only does it taste good, but it makes a pretty good cleaning product. 
Unfortunately, however, as much as you might object to having all your furniture smell like a chip shop, it's much worse for your cat. With cats in the house, cleaning with vinegar can actually end up backfiring in a pretty major way, as the cats may decide to try and cover up the gross vinegar smell with something that they consider a little nicer, namely pee. They'll try and cover it up with pee. Ugh, time to clean the floor again. Coffee. You wake up in the morning and you just want to grab a cup of coffee before you head to work. To us humans, especially if you're a bit of a caffeine addict, coffee smells kind of pleasant. But to your cat, it's gross, which is definitely for the best, because it's also extremely toxic when ingested. Rosemary Rosemary may smell great on your food, but it doesn't smell great to your cat. Surprisingly enough, however, this is another example of something that smells bad to our cats, but isn't actually toxic to them. In fact, some cats will actually brave the bad smells and seek out rosemary plants because of one of the plant's more unique properties. It repels fleas. When it comes to a choice between itching or stinking, most cats would rather just put up with the stink. Peppermint Essentially, the smell of Christmas. What could be better? For your cat, however, the strong smell is extremely off-putting, and you want them to be put off because peppermint is another one of those things that smells bad for a reason. It contains a chemical called salicylate, which is extremely poisonous to cats. Unfortunately, not all cats are able to recognize the danger. For an unlucky few cats, the smell of peppermint smells less like bad news and more like catnip. These cats will be drawn to the plant and may try to eat it, so if you notice your cat seems unusually interested in your peppermint plant, get rid of it immediately. No Christmassy vibes are worth risking your cat's health. Pine Speaking of Christmas, the other major scent that a lot of people associate with Christmas is the smell of pine trees. If you have a natural tree, then that piney smell likely puts you in the Christmas mood immediately but it won't do the same for your cat. Pine trees actually don't smell great to cats, probably because the oils of the tree can, if digested, give them an upset tummy. You might be wondering why, if your cat thinks that the Christmas tree smells so bad, they insist on spending so much time around it. Simple. The ornaments. The only thing stronger than a cat's hatred of bad smells is a cat's attraction to brightly colored dangly objects. The only thing you can do is try and make sure that the ornaments at the bottom of the tree aren't the more breakable ones. Garlic When you think about it, your cat has more than a few things in common with a vampire. They have fangs, they hang out at night, their eyes glow in the dark, and most compellingly, they are repelled by garlic. This delicious smell is, to a cat, absolutely disgusting, which is completely for the best, because alliums, like garlic and onions, are one of the most toxic things you can feed your cat. The symptoms of garlic poisoning in cats are anemia, brown or yellow gums, breathlessness, lethargy, a fast heartbeat, rapid breathing, tummy pain, and strange colored pee. Less than one clove can be lethal if ingested. If the garlic is in a more concentrated form, like garlic powder, then one-eighth of a teaspoon can be enough to kill your cat. No matter how yummy it might taste to us, your cat's nose knows, and you should do what you can to keep them away from garlic. Did you know that there are 15 common things we do that our cats secretly adore? Check out this video to find out easy ways to make your cat very happy.